Don't forget to tap the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our contents. Christopher and Shannon Watts' neighbors heard them flat out screaming. Not everyone thought Shannon and Christopher Watts had the perfect marriage. A neighbor told police investigating Watts in the death of his wife and daughters about a different side of the couple. Nathaniel Trinostik lived next to the Watts family on Saratoga Trail and provided security footage of Shannon Watts arriving home on August 13 and Christopher Watts leaving a few hours later. He also captured Chris Watts backing his truck into his garage, which Watts claimed he did, so he could load up his tools for the day. Christopher Watts was arrested on August 15 for the murders of his pregnant wife and two young daughters. He pleaded guilty to five counts of first-degree murder, three counts of tampering with a deceased human body, and unlawful termination of a pregnancy to escape the death penalty, and on November 19 received multiple life sentences. The Times Call submitted a request to the Weld County District Attorney's Office to obtain a body-worn camera recording that captures Frederick Police Officer Scott Coonrod. Watts and Trinostik watching the security footage, after 34-year-old Shannon Watts, 4-year-old Bella, and 3-year-old Celeste were reported missing. The video is one of the hundreds of pieces of additional discovery released since an initial round on November 21. In the video, the three watch the security footage on Trinostik's television, and 33-year-old Watts bounces from foot to foot, explaining everything he loaded into his truck that day as a lunchbox, backpack, water jugs, computers, and tools. Toward the end, Watts leaves the room to speak with a detective outside. Trinos Teak turns to Coonrod and says, he's not acting right. According to Trinos Teak, he often hears the Watts couple fighting verbally. The last time he heard them fight, was before Shannon Watts went to North Carolina, he said. To be completely honest with you, my wife and I were wondering when she was on vacation if something happened, because I've heard them flat out screaming at each other at the top of their lungs, and he gets crazy, he said. Trinos Teak also thought that Watts was acting suspicious, talking more than he usually did, and trying to cover his tracks. While their neighbors may have heard their fights, it appears their friends never did. All of Shannon Watts' friends told investigators about how involved her husband was, and how he helped out with laundry, cooking, and cleaning. Shannon Watts' friends, many of whom live outside of Colorado, told investigators that things between the couple seemed perfect, until Christopher Watts went to North Carolina. While on her business trip in Arizona, a few days before the murder, Shannon Watts confided in her friends that Christopher Watts said he no longer wanted the baby she was carrying, that they weren't compatible, and that she suspected he may be cheating. Still, Shannon Watts' friends told police that she was blindsided completely by the sudden change in her husband. Thanks for watching. Check the description below to watch other videos dedicated to this case, and don't forget to tap the subscribe button below.